There's a place in our hearts It's a pain only God can heal We can only tell you how we feel So here we are to praise you God I know they say time will heal our pain But life will never be the same We may not get another day so for today, we just have to pray. Sing to God and raise your voices now. Sing to God and fill the sky. Let your spirit praise your Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Welcome, everyone. Come find a seat, get comfortable. You're in for a treat, I promise. Tonight on Shabbat Shirah, we celebrate the song our people spontaneously sang as they crossed the sea at the moment of liberation. That's right. Having escaped hundreds of years of enslavement in Egypt, Having crossed the parted waters of the Red Sea, the very first thing the Jewish people did was sing. It is called Shirat Hayam, the Song of the Sea. So unique was this moment in our spiritual history that the Torah's rendition of the song looks and sounds different than all the rest of the Torah with its own unique melody. Jews are known as the people of the book, and we are also the people of the song. In fear, poverty, war, and exile, song packed light and eased the way. In their highest spiritual moments, our ancestors couldn't help but sing. Tonight, we recall our freedom from oppression in ancient days, but also celebrate the freedom we have to be together on Shabbat and to celebrate the music we make every time we come together. And that is what the creation of our temple, Israel Recording, with one breath, was and is all about. No one understood that better than Stephen Gottlieb of blessed memory, who believed in the power of music to lift people up, to help us cross through treacherous waters, and to feel God's presence in our lives. And that is the miracle. The miracle that Sarah and Harold, whom we remember with love, nurtured in Stephen, and continue to nurture in our temple. And so, we have brought the band back together with our full music team to share the beauty of the album that was created with so much love and that has rippled out into the world with one collective breath. How good it is to share again with you now, brothers and sisters, as one in song. 
taste of Shabbat Shirah, we are in for an incredible night. I look forward to this service every single year. It is our Sabbath of song. Is that my fault? Should I step down? It's our Sabbath of song. It's our Shabbat to focus on what is probably the most impo important liturgical moment in our calendar, in, in our people's history. We celebrate the splitting of the sea every year on the Shabbat, every year on Passover, and believe it or not, every single day in our prayer service when we come to the Micha Mocha. It is that important to us. And so we are about to light our Shabbat candles to welcome in Shabbat Shira. And as we do, let us take these, let these flames take us back in time to the moment at the sea and what it felt like to know redemption and to experience freedom for the first time. Two, as the po poet in our prayer book says, feel the sea spray on your face to feel within the beating of freedom's drum. Let these candles take us back once again to the water's edge so that we can experience it once again together. I would like to invite Emma Trevax and Dan Irie, our cantorial soloist, to light our candles and lead us in the blessing. Baruch
Shabbat Amen. So when the cantors asked me to give an introduction to Lechado D, I did exactly what every modern rabbi does. I went to chatbot GBT artificial intelligence. And I asked the computer to write me a introduction to the Hebrew prayer Lechado D. And here is what we have. Lechado D, sweet words of song, inviting Shabbat all day long with melodies that lift our hearts, bringing peace and joy from every part. From the fields and hills we come to sing to greet the queen, our hearts to cling. With arms open wide, we welcome in the peace and love that we will win. With each step, we feel the light guiding us through the darkest night. The words of Lechado Di, so pure and true, bringing us closer to all that's new. So let us sing with all our might, Lechado Di, guiding us to the light. For in this prayer, we find our way to Shabbat peace each and every day. The rabbis are out of jobs. <laughs> we continue with Lechadodi.
Rabbi Bennett, with music like this that touches our hearts and spirit, the rabbis were in trouble a long time ago. <laughs> but since I'm a purist this evening, on page 43, we read together. We call each other to worship, although we forget and sometimes do not listen. We call each other to worship with one breath, one song, one voice. At this sacred time, which is every time, in this sacred place, which is every place, with this sacred congregation, which is every congregation, we unfold together into the endless blessing of the eternal and call each other to worship. Please rise. <laughs> back here. I think that's the microphone thing. So we've gotten to the Shema, and I have to say, it is so clear to us, to everyone in this room, that music brings us together. And when I first got here, I think one of the most transformative moments of knowing that I was somewhere special was during Listen, when you guys are all sitting, and then all of a sudden the entire congregation like pops up out of your chairs and sings Shema at the top of your lungs. You know what I'm talking about? That is so amazing something that does not happen in other congregations. Everybody unified in the moment with their eyes closed or open, singing. And that is a really special part of what it means to be part of this congregation and our people. 
And uh, also, when I think about Shab Shabbat Shira and coming together as a community to celebrate this special night, I think about the Shema and what an amazing group of singers who are invested in the moment that we have here. So invest in the moment, we'll sing the Shema together. Not that Shema, a different one. Vadirech 
ובשוך בך ובקומך, וקשרתם לאות על ידיך, והיו לתותפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך, למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, פיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוהים. אני אדוני אלוהיכם אמת. It was a, a warm and breezy day when I began thinking about writing a new Micha Mocha. Inspired by this week's Torah portion, Bishalach, in which we hear a special melody uh, surrounding Micha Mocha, which is such an important part of our liturgy. And I imagined the shock the Israelites must have felt when they made it through the water to freedom's shore. Breathless, they looked to the heavens and said, Micha Mocha Ba'elim Adonai. Micha Mocha Nedar Ba'kodesh. Nora Tehilot Ose Fele. They looked around at each other, and like a bolt of lightning, it finally hit them. Pure joy, and probably a good helping of relief too. Miriam the prophetess took the tambourine in her hand, and all the women followed her with tambourines and dances. With joy and ecstasy coursing through their veins, something amazing and spontaneous happened. A new song was born. And that's kind of how it happened for me. Oh. 
So as we approach the Hashki Venu, the poem that I brought was actually about how to rest and that we should have permission to rest because I personally struggle with rest. I don't know if any of the rest of you do. And that's all what Shabbat is about, but I'm sitting here with my colleagues and is there any question as to why we would struggle to rest when you're surrounded by this much talent? I mean, there's no question. But this is one of my favorite poems. It's actually written by my cousin. And it speaks to me a lot about, yes, we, we should rest. We need to rest, especially on the day of rest. Tomorrow I will be strong, not today. Today I need to be weak and slow and lazy and maybe a little irresponsible. Tomorrow I will fight, not today. Today I need to submit and let the world choose its direction, even if it meanders off course, detours from the desired destination. Tomorrow I will rise, not today. Today I need to fall and stay down, not forever, just long enough to rest. Tomorrow I will carry the weight of the world, not today. Today I need to lay the burden down. Today I need to be carried, not far, just far enough to see the horizon. Yesterday I was strong, tomorrow I will renew. And today, today is for rest, today is for release, and to sleep and perchance to dream of strength renewed.
As we turn towards Vishamru, Lishmor is to protect or to guard something. And the question is, how do we do that? How do we protect ourselves? How do we protect our planet, the people that we love? Well, the Jewish world is about to celebrate Tu Bishvat, so I thought we would ask a tree. This is a poem called Advice from a Tree. Dear friend, stand tall and proud. Seek your roots deeply into the earth. Reflect the light of a greater source. Think long term, go out on a limb. Remember your place among all living beings. Embrace with joy the changing season for each yields its own abundance. The energy and birth of spring, the growth and contentment of summer, the wisdom to let go of the leaves in the fall, the rest and quiet renewal of winter. Feel the wind and the sun and delight in their presence. Look up at the moon that shines down upon you and the mystery of the stars at night. Seek nourishment from the good things in life, simple pleasures, earth, fresh air, light. Be content with your natural beauty. Drink plenty of water. Let your limbs sway and dance in the breezes. Be flexible, remember your roots, and enjoy the view. Page 68 for the Amida. Hey. 
Abraham, Elohe, Yitzchak, Elohe, Yaakov. Elohe, Sahara, Elohe, Rivka, Elohe, Lea, Elohe, Rachel. Ha'el, ha'gadol, ha'gibor, ve'hanora. Ve'el yon, gomel, chasadim, tovim, ve'konei. Zocher has te avot v'himahot, u'mevi ge'olar ibne v'rehem, l'man shemo be'ahava, melech ozer moshiach magim, baruch ha'adonai, magin avraham ve'ezrat sara. Atagi bole olam Adonai, mechaye hakol atarav lehoshia, mechalkel chayim bechesed, mechaye hakol berachamim rabim, sohomech noflim verofech olim, umatir asurim, umekayem emunato, Yishenei ha'afar Mi'chamocha ba'al gevurot U'midomelach Melech me'mit u'mechayeh U'matz mi'ach yeshua V'nehemad atal ha'chayot ha'kol Baruch atah Adonai Mechayeh ha'kol את הקדוש ושמך קדוש וקדושים בכל יום יהללוך סלע ברוך אתה אדוני האל הקדוש. As you're seated we pray silently. Oh, say, shall 
It almost feels like we don't need a prayer for healing tonight because this entire service is a healing prayer. But as we find ourselves at the shores of the Red Sea, I am drawn to this prayer of healing as a moment of hope, a moment of faith, and a moment of connection. Now remember, one of the main characters in the story of the Exodus is Miriam. And she is known for providing life-giving waters to the people as they journey through the wilderness. And once they start their wanderings, once they start their wanderings, a miraculous well would appear to sustain them. Later on, it is said that Miriam's well would appear and heal the sick. In fact, there is an ancient custom to drink well water or water from a natural spring after Shabbat. This is based on the rabbinic teachings that the water of Miriam's well flow through all of the wells and natural springs every Saturday night, and anyone who encounters it and drinks of its waters will be healed. The truth is, you never know when you are going to find Miriam's well. And so in this moment, as we celebrate the miracle of the splitting of the sea, We also celebrate the miracle of healing in all of its forms, in the healing of body and in the healing of spirit.
Little known fact, <clears throat> after the splitting of the sea, Moses' staff could no longer perform major miracles, and yet he kept it beside him for the rest of his life. He just couldn't part with it. <laughs> I see if it, Rabbi Josh can't believe that I would tell such a bad joke after all this time, but wait for Purim, like it's half written, it's coming, so look out. But it is an amazing story, the Song of the Sea, with the most powerful army in the world bearing down on the Jewish people. God splits the sea, and we escape to freedom. Inspiring, dramatic, archetypical, but also to many of us, perhaps, hard to believe. As with other great miracles of the Torah, I've never personally seen nature reverse itself to change the course of history. So, it is tempting to assume the splitting of the sea is the stuff of legend rather than an actual event passed down from first-hand witnesses. If I have no experience with divine miracles, how can I take seriously this narrative from ancient times that seems so incredible? On the other hand, consider the times that we're living in. AI, creating art, writing essays, apparently introductions to Lecha Dodi, instant video chatting with anyone on Earth, a detailed map of every spot on the planet at our fingertips, and on and on. Every day, another advance that would be completely unbelievable to anyone living before the 20th century. It's almost as if God is challenging us to open our minds to a grand possibility. If our time is filled with so many creations that would seem impossible even to our recent ancestors, perhaps we can consider that incredible events may have happened at other points in history, despite them seeming unbelievable to us. As if to make this point even more unmissable, we can just pull our modern wonders at will out of a sea of radio waves around us. We just have to raise up these crazy cell phones like Moses' staff, and we can elicit the entire human history of art, music, and knowledge out of a veritable ocean of radio frequency waves around us. It's as if the prophet Chavakuk saw it coming when he said that the earth shall be filled with knowledge as the water covers the seabed. We are all right now surrounded by these very waves of knowledge, as it were. All this while standing just as the people of Israel did on dry land within that sea. If we try to describe to any one of those ancient Israelites the fantastic reality we are living in, they would find it difficult to believe even one word. Who knows, maybe their amazing experience was just as factual as ours. With this insight in mind, we turn to the chanting of the Song of the Sea, as well as a magnificent new anthem by our Zipser Foundation artist in residence, Aaron Markovitz, composed to complement this beautiful section of Torah. As we do, perhaps ask yourself, what would it mean if this story were completely real and it happened exactly as described? Who would we be and how much more would our lives mean as inheritors of this glorious tradition. Please join me as we bless the Torah. Baruch et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim. Benatan Lanu et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai, Notein HaTorah. Amen. Amen. 
Az yashir Moshe, uvene Israel et hashira hazot ladonai vayomru lemor ashira ladonai kikaoga sus verochvo rama vayam ozi vezimrat ya vayhili lishua ze elivian vehu elohai avi bromenhu. Adonai ish milchama, Adonai shemo, Mar kevod paro vechelo yarav ayam, Mivchar shalishav tu uviyam suf. Tehomot yichas yumu, yarduvim tselot kemo oven. Yemin cha Adonai nedari bakoach, Yemin cha Adonai tirats oyev. Verov Gonacha Taros Kamecha, Tishala Haroncha Yochlemu Kakash, Uveruacha Pecha Nemu Maim, Nitzmu Ditzvuch Moned Noslim, Kafu Temot Belev Yam, Amar Oyev Erdof Asig Achalek Shalal, Tim La Emu Nafshi, Ari Harbi Torishemu Yadi. Nishvat bruchacha ki samu yam, tzalelu kelferet b'mayim adirim. Mi chamocha balim Adonai, mi chamocha nedar b'kodesh, norati lot osefele. Natita yemine chati v'laem o aretz, Nach ite vechastecha am zuga alta, ne halta veozecha al neve kotshecha. Shame u amim yirgazun, chil achaz yoshve pelashet. Az nifhalu alufe dom, ele mohav, yochazim o raad, namogu kol yoshve chenaan. Ti polechem e mata ya fachad, big doz rochaha yid muke aven. Ad ya havor am chadonai, ad ya havor am zukanita. Ti vla emo vetita emo bahar nacharatecha, machon ve shiftecha palta adonai. Mikdash Adonai konenu yadecha. Adonai imloch leolam vaed. Ki vasus paro verich po ufarashav vayom. Vayyashev Adonai alayhem et mehayam. Uvne Yisrael. Halchu vayabasha betoch hayam. Vetikach miryam hanviyah. Achot aharon et atof biyada. Vatetzen achol hanashim acharecha. Betupim uvim cholot. Vetahanahem miryam. Shiru ladonai ki gaoga. Sus feroch bor amavayam. Vayas hamoshe et Yisrael mi am suf. Vayetzehu el mi bar shur. Vayelchu shloshet yamim. Vami bar lo mitzmatzehu mayim. Vayavo marata. Velo yachlu lishtot mayim mimara. Ki marim heim, al kein karashema mara. Together, Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher natan lanu Torah temet, Vechayei olam nata betocheinu, Baruch atah Adonai, Notein haTorah. Take your 
first step. Watch the divine unfold right in front of you. When forward we move, watch the ominous fade in the waters. We've been allowed to pass through in a second favorite service of the year or experience of the year. Do you guys want to guess my first one? Yeah, obviously Purim. So uh, to grace you this evening with announcements about our upcoming events, uh, also because Jason, our, our new executive director, we keep saying he's new. He's going through all of these services for the very first time. I don't think you've been here for this or for Purim. So you are in for a surprise. Um, so come on up here, Jason. Tell us uh, what you thought about Shabbat Shira. No pressure. And then uh, you can give us this evening's announcements. Isaac, you can come too. Yes. I've got Isaac. Shabbat Shalom, y'all. This, this service has been absolutely incredible. And, you know, people ask, why did you go to Michigan? Obviously, the weather is a little different here than than Texas, but this service is really, you know, the music, I always am praising the cantors, Dan, Emma, Aaron, everyone else, it's just spectacular. And that's why Isaac enjoys coming too, because he really enjoys the music as well. So let's get rolling with some announcements. Uh, this Monday, February 6, three to seven, we are continuing our Help for Ukraine campaign by hosting a donation drive-through here at Temple. 
The free store for Ukrainian refugees in Metro Detroit is in desperate need of restocking. For a full list of items needed or to volunteer at the drive-thru, please visit our website. Berkeley Coffee House will host a wonderful program for young adults on Tuesday, February 7th at 7 p.m. Join Rabbi Josh and our Zipser Foundation artist in residence, Aaron Markovitz, for Sips, Sipurim, and Song, an evening of storytelling and music. Join Temple Israel's People of the Book Club in conjunction with our Anti-Racism Task Force for a book discussion with Dr. Tara Hayes, the book club professor, for a thought-provoking discussion of Geraldine Brooks' novel, Horse, on Monday, February 13th at 12 p.m. The program is supported by the Newman Family Fund for Library Programs and Resources. For more information on these programs or to register, please visit our website or call the Temple office. And of course, lastly, please join us right outside after services for an Oneg Shabbat. On behalf of the clergy, officers, members of the Board of Trustees, and staff of Temple Israel, I wish you a Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hey, hey Isaac, will you stay up here with me for a second? I have a special job for you. Okay. Before we conclude our service, our wonder, oh, come here, special job. I know, I have to say some stuff first, though. Um, before we conclude our service, uh, we have some thank yous. To, this is such a special place. The band, the music, the writing, the congregation. I, I could go on all night with my thank yous, but we really want to thank Sarah Gottlieb as we remember the generosity of her dear husband, Harold, who they really made this album possible, and with this album came so much creative energy and joy and love, and they made it possible in memory of their beloved son, Stephen. So thank you to Sarah. We want to thank Cantor Smolash, Cantor Michaels, this amazing soloist team, Emma and Dan, Aaron, beautiful song, Cantor Michaels, also beautiful song. Um, a big thank you to Maya, who's our director of music production. Maya, are you back there somewhere? Thank you to Maya, who makes all of this possible. Our musicians, they're gonna, you'll have a chance to clap more for them now, but uh, like, how dare we have a band this good here at Temple Israel? John Bogdan, Danny Cox, James Simonson, Michael Shimon, Sonia Lee, and Brian Pope. Thank you all for tonight and for always being here to support our music program. A big thank you to Ari Posner for producing and arranging and composing for this album and for our staff who make everything possible at Temple. So thank you very much. We are gonna rise together for Elenu. And because we have so much stuff up here, we're not gonna invite the kids up to open the ark. But what we're gonna do is have Isaac come around with the candy to make sure that all the kids and maybe some adults, if you bribe him, can have a piece of candy. So we rise together for Elenu. <laughs> Please be seated. In the spirit of music that has guided our tradition for thousands of years, we also turn now to the sacred task of remembering those whose spirits have embraced our lives in memory. We first mention these names of people who have died in the past 30 days of Shloshim here at Temple Israel. Dr. Abraham Bloomer, Dr. Richard Goldfein, Lee Henkin, Juliet Jacobson, Lillian Lola Jerome, Vladimir Karminsky Kalmsky, Hal Litberg, Thomas Lugosi, Natalie Lyons, Rose Lyons, Bill Rubenfair, Betty Sanfield, Michael Sanford, Gordon Edward Schechter, Dr. William Bob Silverstone, Bertha Snitman, Dr. Tony Tanyai, Sarah Upfall, Marty Weitz, Edward Welford, Jennifer Weitz. 
We also mention those whose names are tonight brought to our hearts because of a yard site. Ann Alekman, Helmut Anspa, Dr. Philip Ray Appel, Fanny Barish, Marvin Berman, Shirley Bernstein, Winifred Borkin, Francis Chasen, Sidney Cohn, Irving Collins, Eva Dreilinger, Gary Feldman, Harry Fink, Theodore Fogel, Sophie Folby, Ezra Foner, Peggy Foyer, Marlene Goodman, Arnie Gordon, Sylvia Grossberg, Millicent Grossman, Simon Gervitz, Shirley Ingber, Thelma Isaacs, Ida Kahn, Joseph Camel, Barbara Becker Kaiden, Thelma Pollock Keller, Jack Kitchener, Samuel Kohlenberg, Sonia Kudowitz, Sam Koretsky, David Lebo, Ruth Levine, Melman Mermel, Eddie Middledorf, Pearl Ray Plotkin, Sonia Resnick, B. Roberts, Sam Rosen, Rebecca Rudin, Lottie Chalis, Benet Stern, Esther Stillman, Jack Suskind, Reva Wishnow, Eric Wolf, Samuel Young, Vivian Brown, Murray Shapiro, Harry Karnas, Bell Billy Robbins, Craig Brown, Jean Polachek, Sandra Chait, Gertrude Schatz, Gordon Stein, Iva, Ida Trustman, Seal Greenfield, Sherry Falkoff, Steve Letterman, Francis Kohlenberg, Michael Westerman, Harold Levin. We remember all of them as we turn in our prayer books to page 199 and rise for Kaddish. Yit gadal v'yit gadash shemei rabba b'alma divra v'yamlich malchute v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chaye dechol beit Yisrael v'agalau v'zman kariv v'imru amen yehi shemei rabba mevarach v'olam ilmei almaya yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit paar v'tromam v'itnase. Vita dar vit ale vit halal shemed grisha brichu. Le ela mim kol birchata veshirata. Tushpachata venechemata. Damiran vialma vimru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya. Vechayim alenu vial kol Yisrael vimru amen. O sesh. Amen. May God send peace to all of us and comfort to all who are bereaved as together we all say, Amen. I had to bring Cantor Neil forward because I wasn't sure if you're supposed to be standing or sitting for this final prayer. So we're going to ask you to take your seats now, unless you want to get up and dance halfway through the song, in which case you can do that as well for our closing song of the evening. <laughs> okay, you said to have them sit. Stand, stand up, stand dance, right. join us, put your arms around each other, hands in the air. Woo! This whole night has been unreal, and Kol uh, HaNeshama, let every breath praise God seems like a perfect way to conclude, because with all of our breaths, with all of our spirits, we become one giant symphony. So join us now in this concluding song, Kol HaNeshama, let every breath praise God.